Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 transformers. So in this video we are going to understand one topic which is ideal transformers and practical transformers. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So up till now we have discussed that in the transformer one core is there. So that is the core. And that core is made of soft iron, which is a ferromagnetic material. After that, it has one primary winding like this. And to the primary winding, we are supplying the voltage input. Supposing to the primary winding, voltage input is EP. And current flowing in primary winding is suppose IP. After that, it has one secondary winding like this. And to that secondary winding, we are getting voltage output. Suppose from the secondary winding, we are getting voltage output as ES. And current flowing in secondary winding is suppose IS. So transformer is such a device which will transfer the power from primary coil to secondary coil. And power equation you know very well. What? It is your V into I. So, power at input side will be how much? V into I. So, EP into IP. That will be power input. And the power on the secondary side is what? It is V into I. So, ES into IS. That is what? Power output. Okay. Now, we will discuss about ideal transformer. So, we will make a heading that ideal transformer. Now, ideal transformer means what? That it is an imaginary transformer. It is not practically possible. And its efficiency is 100%. That means ideal transformers are 100% efficient. Now, question may arise that how ideal transformers are 100% efficient. So, simple answer is that, that in ideal transformer, there is no loss of energy. Now there is no loss of energy means what? There is no loss of power. No loss of power means what? That whatever power that you are supplying to primary side or at input, same power is transmitted to the secondary side or at output. So for the case of uh, ideal transformer, can we write like this? That power input is equals to power output. Supposing 100 kilowatt power you, have, you are supplying to in your primary side. So, same 100 kilowatt power you will get at the secondary side also. Now, power at input is how much? It is EP into IP which is equals to power at output is how much? ES into IS. Now, if we talk about the efficiency of ideal transformers. So, efficiency question is what? That I output power divided by input power whole multiply with 100 so that you will get the answer in percentage okay so efficiency is equals to output power is how much es is output side input power is what ep ip at primary side multiply with 100 now we know what for the ideal transformer output power equals to input power means es is equals to ep ip so that term will get cancelled which is equals to 1 so efficiency will be what 100 percentage for the case of ideal transformer and we know very well that such a hundred percentage efficiency which is given by any of the device is not practically possible that's why ideal transformer is not practically possible so right nowadays we are using which transformer we are using practical transformers so now we'll talk about what practical transformer so we'll make a heading that practical transformer now practical transformer means what that such transformers which are not 100% efficient. Why they are not 100% efficient? Efficient because energy losses are present. That means power losses there. That means what? That supposing on the primary side if you will supply 100 kilowatt of power. So in front of that, on the secondary side, only 95 kilowatt power you can transfer. Remaining 5 kilowatt power is lost, is wasted. Now how that power is wasted? Which are the energy losses? For that, I will prepare one separate video.
okay so for the case of practical transformer what we can say that the power input is how much 100 suppose is greater than power output why because some power is wasted energy loss is there power loss is there okay power at input is how much ep ip greater than output is what es is now we'll talk about the efficiency of a practical transformer so efficiency equals to what that output power divided by input power multiply with 100 so that you'll get the answer in percentage so efficiency equals to output power is how much es is input power is how much ep ip multiply with 100 percentage now as we know what for the case of practical transformer ep ip that power is greater than this that means which term is greater ep ip is greater that means that term is greater if that term is greater which is 100 which is 100 and that is 95 95 so point 95 that means answer would be what answer of this term is less than one that means efficiency would be less than 100 percentage so efficiency of uh, practical transformers are always less than 100 percentage right nowadays whatever practical transformers are available they have up to 98 percentage efficiency or you can say 99 percentage efficiency so this is all about the story of uh, ideal and practical transformer now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much